What's up guys, Mitchell Gonzalez, the Bearded Realtor. Hey, are you thinking about making a move to Colorado and you're trying to find a city that is well-established with a ton of amenities, still has a small town feel, and is close to Boulder and Denver? Well, you've gotta hear about the city I'm gonna talk about today. So, let's hang out. What's up you guys, Mitchell Gonzalez, the Bearded Realtor here. If you've seen one of my videos before in the past, welcome back. If you're checking out one of my videos for the very first time, make sure you do click that red subscribe button below as I do post weekly content all about living in and moving to the Denver metro area. Along with that, as much as I love making these videos, love helping people find their dream homes even more. So with that being said, I am a licensed broker in the state of Colorado. So if you have any questions about real estate, um, looking to buy, sell, invest, whatever it may be, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, write me an email. I'm available 24 seven to answer any questions that you may have about real estate. So, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. If you're watching this, you're either thinking about making a move to Colorado or maybe you've made the decision that you are moving to Colorado, you're trying to find the right city for you. Well, I'm very excited to be talking about this city today, Lafayette, Colorado. So maybe you've heard about Lafayette. It's a small town, uh, just east of Boulder, um, location-wise. It's about 15, 20 minutes east of Boulder. You're looking about 30 to 40 minutes from Denver, a uh, population of about 30,000, 31,000 people. So pretty good size. Um, like a lot of cities in this area, started off as a mining city. So see a lot of mining themes and everything out here. So it's um, pretty, pretty cool city and it's definitely growing extremely popular. And I think a lot of that is because of its proximity to Boulder. Um, so it's basically a part of the Boulder bubble effect is what I like to call it. Um, Boulder is obviously an extremely well-known city in the area, extremely popular. A lot of people actually start their home search in Boulder, and for good reason. It's a great city, close to the mountains. Um, kind of see it behind me. You can't really see the mountains because of a bunch of trees, but um, obviously a very popular city just because if you're outdoorsy, you like going to the mountains, you're probably going to be looking at Boulder. What happens is a lot of people look at the prices in Boulder, and they quickly get turned off by the high home prices, which are well over a million. They start ending up on the cities that are just outside. And Lafayette is one of the first cities that you hit, which would explain why it is so popular. So in this video, I'm gonna kind of touch on a couple things in Lafayette that I think will be, hopefully help you make a decision on if it's the right city for you. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is kind of the outdoors and the activities that are in the area. Then I'm going to touch up on the downtown area because downtown's got a great little downtown area. Um, so I'm going to talk about that, the culture, some of the events that are there. Um, I'm going to touch on the restaurants and bars in the area. Um, I'll talk a little bit and show you uh, one of the churches that are in the area because a lot of people, that's important. And they do have one of the most popular churches in the area over here. And then, of course, I will finish off with talking about the housing. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we'll go ahead and get started and talk about some of the outdoor activities. And so right now I'm over, start off with Wanaka Lake. So as you can see over here at the lake right now, and it's absolutely beautiful, huge lake. Um, so this isn't one of those lakes where you can go boating or paddle boarding on. Um, so it is also a wildlife refugee. So, um, you know, you can do some fishing and everything, but you're not going to see people out on the lake. It's more about enjoying the scenery, um, you know, once you get over to where there's a bunch of trees and everything, you could see a lot of cool birds and everything. It's obviously this really uh, cool path here. Um, I'm over at the hamstring stretching station right now because I've uh, probably walked about a quarter of a mile to get over here, so I need to make sure I'm stretching and staying good for the walk. Um, but Wanaka Lake, definitely very popular, very beautiful. This path goes all the way around the lake. Um, so if you want a great little little walk, hike, I don't know if that'd be considered a hike or not, since there's not a hill. I'd have to look at the definition of hiking. Definitely a popular spot. There's also a great playground area in the area. So if you like kids want to play on the playground, um, definitely a great spot to check out. Along with that, with the Wanaka Lake, there is the great outdoors water park, which very popular little water park in the area. If you're looking for something that's 
you know, maybe a quicker trip, not going to be as busy as say like your water world. Um, maybe you have little kids that aren't about the big old rides. There is, you know, a nice 21 foot tall water slide over there that you can check out. Um, there's also a lazy river, a little zero depth pool for, for the kiddos with the, the whole, uh, you know, play structure on it. There's a lap pool. So, um, definitely a fun, easy spot to take the kids on warm summer day. Um, luckily today it's only going to be up to 70 right now, up to 80. So that's not too bad. Um, so not a bad day for a water park, not a bad day for a walk around the lake. Um, you know, I don't want to walk too far cause I'm going to get farther away from my car. Um, along with that, there's also the, uh, Bob Berger rec center here. So, as a kid, that was always, I grew up in Louisville, just right next to Lafayette. That was like my favorite rec center to go to. I always thought that they had the best pool. Um, they had the lazy river, a really cool slide. As a kid, I thought it was just gigantic, but it's probably a regular size slide. Um, but definitely a great pool there. They've got the lap pool. They have a little climbing wall there. Um, obviously got all the activities that come with the rec center, the basketball court. But it was definitely my favorite indoor pool. If summer camp ever went to Lafayette Rec Center, it's a good day. Good day for camp. So along with that, for kids, there's also the WOW Children's Museum. So I go there a decent amount with my daughter. Um, we're, we're members there. And it's a fun little children's museum. It's it's not going to be nearly as big as like the, you know, the Denver Children's Museum. But it's a fun little city museum. You could definitely go there, spend an hour or two there. They've got a cool little pirate ship. Um, that the kids can play on, um, big old bubble machines, little health centers, little outdoor gardens and everything. So it's definitely a fun little place that kids enjoy. So definitely a lot of activities in the area, outdoor and indoor. Um, so jumping right into the next thing, let's go ahead and take a look at the downtown area of Lafayette. I'll see you over there. All right, you guys, I'm over here in downtown Lafayette and this is one of my favorite downtowns in the area. It's nice because it has kind of a small town feel, but it's a really big, great downtown area. There's just like a ton of different shops. Um, you know, here's like an art center right here. There's a nice uh, jewelry store down the street, just a ton of different places. Um, endless restaurants and bars, which I'll talk to in the talk about in the next segment, but um, nice thing about this downtown, it goes like a good like seven blocks. So it's it's huge, just a ton of things to do. Um, right by the sign, there's a peach festival coming up. So if you're into peaches, uh, Palisade Peaches, if you know, you know, Palisade Peaches, Colorado, it's kind of a thing. Um, there's also a brew fest coming up. There's a ton of different concerts. There's a farmer's market uh, every Thursday from like June until September. So great little farmer's market that they have here. So um, if you're looking for a downtown where there's just a, you're not going to get bored. You're not going to be having to go to the same restaurant, do the same thing over and over again, just a lot of different options in variety. Um, you definitely can't go wrong with downtown Lafayette. So now we'll go ahead and get into some of the restaurants and bars in the area. All right. So like I said, ton of great restaurant options over here. So a lot of great variety. So right now over here by Tacali, fantastic Mexican restaurant. Um, there's also Santiago's right there somewhere. There it is, Santiago's. If you know, you know, half hot and hot, mild, bleh, mild, half and half hot green chili. Watch out for the hot. If you don't like good, uh, nice hot food, maybe go with the half and half. There's also F Rain's over here, so a lot of great Mexican food. Looking for some nicer options. I mean, Tacali's also great. Got great tacos, great margaritas, great drink specials. You've got 95A, which is kind of a lot of tapas and everything. Community, which is fun because it's like more family style, sharing food type of thing. Um, you've got Cajun, which is kind of a Cajun Asian mix. Uh, the Post, which is some great fried chicken. You've got breakfast options like Morning Glory and Tangerines. Bakeries, you've got uh, Button Rock Bakery. You've got right here by Tip Top, uh, Tip Top Savory Pies. So I don't know if that's necessarily a bakery, but they've got some awesome different pies, meat pies, breakfast pies, uh, dessert pies, pretty much any type of pie. They've got pies. Um, along with that, you've got Geno's Bistro, which is newer bakery sandwiches in the area. Fantastic. You've got Tandoori Kitchen, which is Indian food, Mumtaz, 
Mediterranean. So, I mean, you can go on and on. You can go to like a different restaurant every day out here in Lafayette. Along with that, they've got some great bars in the area. You've got uh, Williams Oliver, which is a really fun pub style. And then you've also got one of my favorite bars in the area. Um, sorry, trash truck driving by. Don't want you to miss out. Favorite bar in the area, Acreage by STEM. Up on the mountain hills, great views, a lot of fun games and everything. Definitely worth checking out. And if you like ciders, definitely need to check it out. So um, those are some of my favorite restaurants and bars in the area. All right, so for a lot of people, having a great church option close by is definitely important. And in Lafayette, you've got a fantastic option, Flatirons Church. So I'm outside right now. This is where, where I go every week. So um, I am biased towards it, but um, fantastic church, non-denominational Christian church. Um, about 19,000 people attend it every single week. So obviously very popular. It's got a great worship, great production, um, a lot of great messages every single week. Um, so definitely if you're looking for a city that has a great church nearby. I think this one, like I said, 19,000 people. That's across six campuses, I should be clear. Um, this one seats about, you know, three, 4,000. So you'll see about three or 4,000 at each service that if you do attend it, about three to 4,000, which definitely gives it um, great energy as well and great, great messages, great worship. So I think all great things if you're looking for a uh, solid church option, Flatirons Church, is uh, definitely worth uh, checking out if you end up moving here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about some of the housing options over here in Lafayette. So the nice thing about Lafayette is there's a wide variety of options. You're going to have like your older condos that are, you know, maybe in the 300,000s, anywhere up to super custom home for like 5 million bucks um, listed. That price, I think the highest sales that have kind of happened recently have been more in the two. $2.5 million range. Um, but you know, it's going to be a range of right now. I'm pretty close to main street. Um, one of the roads right off of there, you have kind of the, the, the old, you know, style brick ranches, which I really like. Um, a lot of very nice, well-kept homes here and a lot of nice big trees. Um, you're going to also have your more modern attached homes, your custom homes. So as of the filming of this video, uh, the median home price for all homes was around six hundred and seventy thousand. Um, for a single family home, you're looking at right around eight hundred and ninety thousand. So it is um, above the national average. It's above the average in Denver, which is right around six fifty. But it's well below Boulder, where I think you're at like one point two, one point three million dollar median home price for a single family home. So you're still a good, you know, thirty forty percent below that threshold. Um, so there's a lot of great housing options here. You can honestly get a pretty nice uh, single family home in the 700s. So definitely a lot of different housing options for all different budgets. So the nice thing is, is if you feel like Lafayette is a city you want to live in, odds are there's going to be something in your price point that is just perfect for you. So definitely love the housing, love the housing options here, love the styles. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Hopefully you learned something new about Lafayette, the city. Um, maybe you made a decision that this is the city for you and you want to take a look at it. If you have any questions about Lafayette, surrounding cities, have any questions about the housing market, um, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, write me an email. I'm available 24-7 to answer any questions you might have. Along with that, if you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you do click that red subscribe button below. As I do post weekly content all about living in and moving to the Denver metro area. So with that being said, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. The Bearded Realtor, signing off.